So uh, one of the things we want to do is do a little bit of uh, un untethered work here, which is walk around with our wireless uh, pocket PC. Before I do anything, um, we're talking about the rapid pace of innovation. And this is going to focus on, on a lot of the innovation that <laughs> happened over the last year when our research group and other groups have the opportunity to work with a new device like the pocket PC. First thing I want to do just real quick is note the screen in the center. When I launch mail here, you see it on the other screen. We actually have the ability to project this up, which means when I close it, that I no longer have to stand behind an Elmo. I can walk around with this on stage, and you can see exactly what I'm doing. That in itself is quite nice. Now, one of the things that's great about these devices is they're, they're wonderful for taking notes. There's, you can kind of scribble your handwriting in there, or there's a little voice record button on the side, and that allows you to do um, voice input, and you record it, and then you still have to go back in and type it. What the research guys have been working on is how do we do real speech to text? How do you do dictation into this thing and have it typed in automatically? So I'm going to give it an attempt in here, and we'll go ahead and uh, try this out. Send mail to Nikki. Would you like to go to dinner on Sunday night? Question mark. So that's kind of slick, OK? The, the ability to do real voice recognition at this level. Not only was I able to talk and have the speech done, but it recognized certain breakers, like sending a mail at new to launch mail. So let's try this again. Let's try something a little different. Let's try calendaring. Schedule a meeting with Bill Gates for Monday night at 7 p.m. Bill Gates, one hour, Monday night, 7 p.m. So that's kind of slick. It parsed all of that out. Let's give it one more try. Let's go to dinner to celebrate the successful start of the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Celebrate. Hey, very good. So I mean, in terms of our research guys, I have to tell you, I was a little nervous before doing this. I've done lots of speech demos. And usually I wear a headset microphone because we're in a big audience and it's hard to get the sound right. Or you do it in a closed car. And even then, I can barely get it to say start, you know, and, and go to one folder. In this case, we've done full recognition, you know, being able to take the sentence apart and do the right things. Phenomenal. So let's take this bit of research now and combine it with some other pieces. At the same time we've been doing this, our, our uh, music guys, the guys over in our digital media division, They've been working on the universal plug and play technology, making it so that when I bring this device into the house, it can talk to other devices and it recognizes the other devices like the computer and they can share certain applications and talk to each other. So in this case, what they've done is they've made it so they, they know when the Whistler machine is, I've got one backstage, another one, they know when it's on and they can actually control the music player back there. And so from this device, I can launch the music, uh, the music player and get my playlist started. At the same time, in terms of hardware innovation, I've connected that Whistler PC in the back up to a stereo system in the front using 1394 over Category 5 wire. What this says is I've got some really cool connectors on each end, and I'm using newest home networking standards with Category 5 wire. So I want to use that voice recognition to see if I can kick some music off. I'd like to listen to some music. <laughs> So it brings it up. I don't like that song. I'm going to skip ahead. And I have control. I can increase my volume here, or decrease the volume, go ahead and stop it. So that's pretty slick. We took a bunch of different researchy technologies, but went to a very usable consumer idea, which is I'd like to walk in the house and say, play my music. And because it's coming from the playlist on my computer, I might say, play some jazz, or play some rap, or play whatever music I'd like. And it can parse that text-to-speech. We have control with basically a universal remote control here, and it kicks it off. So again, when you, when you take the software innovation and mix it with a device that's you know, very popular and been out there for a year, we start to see that rapid pace of innovation and the types of directions we're headed in. Let me go ahead and exit this.